So in this video, I want to tackle a certain phrase that you may see in exponential growth and decay problems, and that is concerned with long-term behavior. So here is, for example, a formula for the temperature. So I'm going to use capital T for the temperature and lowercase t for the time. And this describes perhaps uh, a cup of tea that is cooling or something like that. Um, and it is the temperature over time. So if I was to ask what is the long-term behavior of this, then it would also be considering, well, what is the long-term temperature of the cup of tea or the cup of water, whatever it is, okay? So as time goes on, what temperature is uh, the water or the tea tending towards? So when I talk about long-term behavior, I'm actually thinking about what happens as t tends to infinity, okay? So as time goes on and gets uh, larger and larger and larger and larger and larger, what happens to the temperature, okay? What does that tend towards? So when I'm considering this uh, equation here, then as t gets larger and larger and larger and larger, this term here, the e to the minus 0.3t, gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, what I need to, you to think about is, if I write that as 20 plus, I can write this as 5 over e to the 0.3t. Okay? So, what we can say is that as t tends to infinity, e to the minus 0.3t will tend to zero, okay? That's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. What's happening is that the e to the 0.3t is getting larger and larger and larger, so the denominator of this fraction is getting larger and larger and larger and larger which means that this overall value must be getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So I'm dividing by 10 or divided by 100 or 1,000 or a million or a billion. Okay, the denominator is getting larger. The fraction itself, the value of the fraction is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So this term here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And it doesn't matter the fact that I'm multiplying it by 5. This whole thing will be getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So if that is the case, and this is tending towards zero, then what's happening to the temperature is that as this gets closer and closer and closer to zero, you can think of it getting so small that actually you could ignore it. And the temperature will get closer and closer and closer to 20. So that might be 20 degrees centigrade, um, depending or 20 degrees Fahrenheit, whatever the units are. But capital T is tending towards 20. Now, be careful, because it's not that um, I'm not substituting infinity in. Um, I'm not uh, saying that the temperature will ever equal 20, because it won't in this model. Um, but what's happening is that behind the scenes, if you think about this as a graph, then we'll have capital T on the vertical axis and lowercase t on the horizontal. This equation will have a horizontal asymptote at 20. So capital T is 20. Okay. And uh, when t is 0, we'll have 20 plus 5 lots of e to the 0. So 20 plus 5 is 25. So there's 25. And the curve will do this. So as time goes on, capital T is getting closer and closer and closer to 20. Okay? That's what that is saying. So the long-term behavior of this is that t approaches 20.